Hello, teacher Jackie here with a great video on helping you make your classroom simple, simple, low maintenance, and it's just as effective. You'll still get booked as long as you are awesome. Really, your decor isn't going to book you. Your teaching skills will. You need to, number one, make sure you're correcting pronunciation. Make sure if you're teaching the smaller classes, the lower level classes, not small, there's no, anyway, <laughs> the lower level that you are speaking clearly, slow, and with uh, a lot of TPR. I have my little sheet up here. Here's a uh, say and listen and look and there are so many, <sighs> there's more. Oh, stop. I guess I never use that one. I'm going to type it like this. Anyway, there are tips and tricks in, in all the training. So. I just changed my background from Christmas to kind of winter. We got little penguins back here. Whether they see the penguins or not isn't really the big deal. The fact that it's blue, it's got kind of a, I can do some snowflakes maybe later. Um, of course, where I am, it's not snowing. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great to have mainly your name. You can have the VIP Kid logo, it's optional. I have five stars up there to help with five stars. So number one, let's say you're not a teacher and you're just looking at my video. You wanna look at what the investment is. This is wrapping paper and a couple of printouts. You know, it's not, I didn't buy a magnetic board, I didn't buy a cork board, I have one actually. Um, some people have cookie sheets, they put those up and they use those for the magnetic board. There's whiteboards, there's so many things you can do. You probably need to teach some classes before you can invest in that but if you have it use it by all means go to office depot or wherever dollar store and get the you know whiteboards and things like that put them on your backdrop and use them but really if you want to stay simple 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 and especially if you travel you've got to keep it simple there's one lady showed her board that she has and a little easel that she puts on so she can has a have it as a backdrop in her hotel room and things. So for me, I printed out an alphabet, looks a little crooked from here, but this is the lowercase one. I'm a mother of four, so that's what happens. You may or may, hopefully you're not hearing my kids as much. I'll check this video. Uh, so I have my name and then I have, and I have it um, highlighted so you can see it pops a little bit because this background is a little busy. And I've tried other backgrounds. I will, you know, again, keep adjusting it. Have the number, letters, if they see them, great. I don't really reference these. They're just there. Some people have maps, but there's been, you know, where's my map? I have a map of the United States. I have a map of the world. But when I want to talk about the world, I actually just grab my globe. I got this at a Dollar Tree for, um, not Dollar Tree, Dollar City and just use it and point to it and reference it and try to make sure that the the light bulb glare isn't on it. What else? So this right here is my reward system. Before I've had um, ice creams there, I've had dino stickers there, dino stickers there. And what else was I saying? Um, my recent one was a, a Christmas tree. Uh, I just said tree and I just decorated it, had the little balls on there. I've already put it away. Christmas is over, so I wanted to do something new. This is appropriate for any age group or, or level, and so I wanted to point this out. So it's here if I use it. It's here if I don't use it. It's just wonderful. Got letters here, numbers here. Looks like a classroom, real simple. Some people do the whole ABC across the top. Again, make it simple. So what would happen here is a student would have to pick a number, they're older, and even younger. You'll be surprised who what they know. And so they'll pick a number and we're gonna look for the monkey. Of course, I wish the monkey was up here better. It's probably not the best. I was gonna hold him. I may have a stuffed monkey, which I do. I just need to go grab it. And say pick a number. So if they pick number five, we'll lift number five. Oh, you found a banana. Good job. Now, I could actually pull this off. I have it taped. This is uh, in another video I mentioned. These are just um, sheet protectors. And inside the sheet protector, I have this monkey and star sheet. And then we reveal, I just taped them on here and cut them. There's a banana. Here's a banana. Here's a star. So I don't know if we're going for bananas, we're going for stars. It doesn't matter. You just go with the flow and have something for your. Uh, student to be engaged. Otherwise, I have stars on a stick. You get a star. And then on the screen, you click, you get a star, and that helps again. One, my classes are going faster now. When I first was a teacher, I 
I was so scared, 25 minutes, all these slides, teaching grammar, teaching vocab, doing a, a verb, doing some math skills. It's a lot in 25 minutes. But when I, I had the upper levels, so some of them go fast. I had two really smart kids today, so we're very, very fast. So I had to like kill time. I'm like, look, you got a star. Well, actually, you got five stars. So here's one, here's two, and I just killed time. <laughs> it's kind of fun uh, and challenging at the same time. So real quick, when you have reward systems, um, this reward system is available by teacher Jennifer. She's awesome and fantastic. This I just got from the internet. This I typed up and this I made Meg's hair kind of strawberry blonde. I probably need to reprint her. She doesn't look very dark. Yeah, I need to reprint her probably and outline her hair. The VIP kid. I, need to, I think I just reprinted that one. So here's another new one. I love it. I'm going to put it and have it ready which is this monster head. So I'll put another uh, sheet protector here on top of this probably, slide this guy inside of it, and then I am doing my homemade lamination. So if you're not familiar, all you need is clear tape, like packing tape, and a pair of scissors and your reward system. Previously in a video, I showed how I had my ice cream cone here and then I had my laminated homemade lamp. So I can get a glare on there. Here, see, little shiny shine. And so I had them stuck to each other. So now there's just tape. I don't have. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I hope you are okay with this video. Um, I just have tape. So I just replaced the tape. You know, I, I'm low budget, guys. Low budget effective it's there it works and so i'll put this on a piece of paper stick 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 you want your scoops of scoops of apple scoops of ice cream and i'll tell you what i used that for my first two months every level loved it they liked it and especially because i had a plastic ice cream cone here from my daughter's <laughs> food kit and they'll go yum 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 yum, yum. oh look teacher ate her ice cream again another way to engage extend and kill some time if we're ahead but this little cute monster isn't he adorable love him well he is going to eat cupcakes yum 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 so we're gonna pack his mouth full of cupcakes he will go into a sheet protector which i meant to get before the video so what i what i need five so i took cut him out and i took tape two layers one two and here is my cupcakes, my laminated cupcakes. Yellow, orange, I guess that's red, purple, and green. So I will cut these out a little closer. Um, yeah, the one in the middle is what I think I'll go for, that kind of a outline, and the other ones I'll trim them to that outline. And I'll have them available. So I'll have him in a sheet protector. I'll put him in front of this. Um, if I'm done, if I do or don't feel this is going to be appropriate for my class, I'll just put that one on top, and then boom, boom, cupcake, cupcake, cupcake. Good job. So, teachers or new applicants, this is an idea of how to laminate if you don't have a fancy laminator. So, really, I was in the middle of doing this, and I thought this would be great to show and share how to make a quick, simple, low-budget background, how to have quick and simple, low-budget reward systems, be effective, still be an amazing teacher, and honestly, that's where you're going to get your bookings. Having the certifications, there's a trial certification, plus levels two, three, four, five, six, and now seven. What else? Um... If you're new, 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 and you're still not an applicant yet, you need to have a bachelor's degree at the minimum. You need to have two years of some sort of teaching, guiding type of life experience, whether it's coaching, preschool, um, volunteering, or official, especially if you're an actual teacher, like brick and mortar, or even maybe another virtual uh, school option. It is amazing that, you know, you can come in and probably get a higher, you know, pay bracket than me and then also have your certifications that you are going to be booked. You're going to be booked. The parents and the learning partners, they're kind of like academic counselors, look at that and they go, wow, let's book this person. And what's going to happen is after you teach a class, the family gets to evaluate you. You can get five apples. Let's hope you do. I better go soon. <laughs> 
But anyway, overall, I'm here to help. I'm here to guide. I'm actually here just even to support other teachers. I enjoy this gig so much. And my husband and I just met. I'm pointing this way because this is where he was standing. Um, my husband and I just met. And we were talking about, you know, budget and what do we need. Because I don't want to work too much and lose sleep and family time if we don't need to, but I don't want to work too little knowing an hour in here and there is going to make a huge difference because they have so many other incentives and bonuses and they just like give away money, <laughs> but you have to show up and I want to do that too. I want to hopefully a whole new wave of teachers to come in and really represent VIP kid as best as they can. I just got an information from, from the corporate and even a video showing saying, you know, don't like have bad posture and, sit and eat and drink during class. They even said no smoking during class. Yikes. Ah. You know, it's only 25 minutes, but some people, they do back to back to back to back to back. They do, you know, maybe six straight hours of teaching. So they probably need to do those things. You do get, you know, a few minutes between classes. And a lot of us teachers said, we have mastered the skill of going to the bathroom really, really fast and getting a drink or whatever we need. So, you know, think about it. Budget your time. We have all agreed that you should take a day off at least once a week, if not once or twice a month. There are some who just go and because and, and, there's so much money to be made here and it's actually all up to you. But overall, have an awesome classroom. Simplify it bright. Um, if you need information about lighting and everything else, just message me. I'll be happy to share whether you're a current teacher or if you're applying under some other teacher. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to just help VIP kid have quality teachers and you to enjoy your job as an independent contracted teacher and just enjoy the money. But the kids are fun too. They're really, really a lot of fun. There's a couple. Ooh, I had some this past week that were just, wow, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but I click on the payment tab and I see what my next deposit's going to be and I go, eh, it's okay. So let me go down here. There we go. All right, guys, I am done. I want to say thank you. Let me do a little quick smiley face and a thumbs up <laughs> and hope that you have had some kind of value from my video.